we'll be uh, today we'll be playing Polytopia. Um, and new game, as per usual, every time. Um, we'll be doing domination mode, again, as per usual. Nothing new here, really. Um, Imperius, again, same thing. Opponents, three, difficulty, crazy. Sure. Let's go. So, um, I guess we're gonna start, um, in the best way possible to, I believe, in, as the Imperius, and that is by collecting fruit. Um, and let me just, that, and there we go. All right, so we'll move that guy just so that the next turn button turns blue. Um, okay, now, hunting research is the next thing we're going to do because I'd like to uh, go out to ranged weapons fairly quickly, so archery and catapults. Uh, catapults are actually um, really fairly useful to have early on in the game because uh, most tribes don't have catapults uh, that early, and so uh, th that's um, definitely a useful thing to have. Um, archers are also very useful because it's a cheap ranged weapon, which is not something that you get a lot in the uh, game. It's, it's the only cheap ranged weapon um, that you have. So... I'm not going to conquer the city yet, and the reason, uh, this one right here yet, and the reason I'm not going to conquer the city is because, uh, I want to, basically, I want to, uh, save my, um, the, the prices, keep all of the prices low for now, uh, for all of the tech. So, I'm, I'm going to wait until... I've got a little bit more stuff unlocked before I actually conquer any cities. Alright, let's see. We can maybe research forestry next. We'll wait. Um, Alright. So next, I think, we're going to want to research mining. So basically, eventually, uh, fairly quickly, we're going to be trying to research mathematics and smithery. And we'll train up another archer over here. Um, we can make a mine. Uh, okay, so it looks like the homage are um, over here, probably either on this tile right here, or maybe on that one. Alright, so probably right here. That That's definitely something to keep in mind, although probably not a huge concern for us right now. Oh, the Shinshi. Those are a huge concern for us. Alright. You know what, let's just conquer these cities, just to be safe. Um, I'll develop this one a little bit to help compensate for the additional price of tech. So we'll do a workshop. Um, we can train up another archer here. Ooh, Bardur as well, and, and Umaji, all, all in two turns. Alright, so hopefully we shouldn't really have to worry about them too much. Um, good, so they're gone now. We'll train up archers in both of our new cities. Oh, so we're on an island over here. That's going to be, hopefully, fairly useful for us. Alright, so let's uh, let's actually see sort of what the uh, boundaries look like. Okay, interesting. We're definitely gonna do something like that. Um, when you've got ranged weapons, uh, you always want to uh, use their range. You never want to go right up against, uh, right up next to someone, because even if it's a boat, uh, the boats don't really matter, but it's just a good practice to get into to always take advantage of that range. Uh, that way, when you are dealing with uh, 
when you are dealing with the um, melee soldiers, you um, you you're sort of in the habit of being at a point where they can't counterattack you. That's just a uh, smart move there. All right, so next thing that we want to uh, research is let's do mathematics because uh, it seems like range is going to be the uh, ticket to win here. All right, um, so now I can train up a catapult over here, and yeah, they, uh, the Maju shouldn't stand a chance. Um, we should also research sailing, so we'll do fishing right now. Um, and we can just get rid of their, uh, rider now. Doesn't look like there's any immediate threat anymore, so we'll just leave it all alone for a bit. Um, I'm gonna do some fishing again over here just to help get that city development that we want. Get rid of that, um, that guy again. Alright, we'll move these guys around a little bit. Help turn that button, um, then that next turn button blue. Speaking of which, if you haven't already, turn that like button blue. Um, <laughs> Alright, now we will do that again. Um, we can get rid of that guy pretty quickly. So... All right, now we'll do a little bit of troop movement again. Um, all right, now, gate of power. Oh, let's build it over here. All right, border growth. And we'll do some more fishing. So we'll do that, and now now we'll be able to uh, go over and uh, attack the Amaji, who I would imagine are probably not any major threat at all. Uh, oh, they actually have three cities. Wait, the Bardura, the weak ones. What? How does that happen? That's not supposed to happen. All right. We can do that, and we'll move him over here. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't have moved so close, but eh, oh well. So, I'm going to train a warrior over here to be a boat. Um, and actually, at this point, maybe if we've got the uh, funds, we should... No, we don't yet. But uh, shields are definitely worthwhile research once you have the uh, sailing tech, which is... Uh, that's a, actually a good lesson to learn. Uh, so... Every boat has the... However, um, their defense is dependent on the uh, type of unit that they are. So you can... If you have a defender, then you get um, basically a cheap way of getting the uh, same attack as you would for anything else. Um, it's only a little bit more expensive than a warrior, but they have all of the health. So, just a little tip. If you don't already know... Um, uh, so I'm going to move some guys over here. I don't really, um, <sighs> um, yeah, we, we can't build a port over here yet, but, uh, that's the next thing I want to do, um, over at Musselus, because the, um, Bardur are over here and apparently are fairly weak, even weaker than us, which is, uh, kind of surprising. Normally, we're the, uh, weak tribe in the, uh, early game. So, what is a catapult's, um, range? It's three, so I would imagine that it would be, like, one, two, three. One, two, three. 
one, two, three, maybe? I wonder, I wonder if from here we would have the, um, I wonder if from here we'd have the range to attack this, um, archer over here. Hmm. Let's, uh, build a port and just do, um, the big wall. Oh, nice. We'll do a super unit. Uh, we'll move this guy into the port now so that we can have a, uh, boat. Okay, so we'll upgrade this to a ship. We'll move him over here and attack that. Um, yes, so we may have the range. We probably do have the range to attack archers from over in this city. That's uh, good to know. All right. Now, I'm going to move some archers out of the way to attack that. Good. We can upgrade him now, promote him. Um, we'll do that, we'll do this. Um, and we'll just sort of move around a little bit. It doesn't look like we can actually uh, go on the ocean yet. I guess we still haven't researched navigation. Um, all right, let's, what's this guy's range? Two. Ah, that's frustrating. Good, so we've gotten rid of their archer now. Um, and we can probably research navigation now, which will mean that this guy can move. We'll take this, uh, these ruins. Alright, now. Um, I'm gonna move this super unit down to where the Bardur keep trying to attack us, because it seems like the Omajis still aren't bothering to, uh, actually go on the offense yet. We'll do uh, some fishing and then build a port over here as well. And then we can turn this guy, Not we can't turn him into a ship, but we can turn him into a boat. And that will just give us the ability to uh, take a bit of a shortcut. We don't have to go so close to the land for so long. I'm going to move our catapult. I'm going to try to move our catapult over to uh, this mountain over here. Um, I think that may be helpful, potentially. No. Oh, willing. Oh, that's basically free money. Yes. Yes. If you if you uncover the secret of willing from a uh, from one of those, that's um that's free money. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now, other things we can do. Uh, let's train up another catapult. And... We'll move this guy into this, um, the city. We'll turn this one into a ship. And like that. All right. All right, good. Now we've got the uh, position that we want for our new catapult, uh, or for our old catapult, I guess, the new position that we want for the old catapult. Let's just turn this into a battleship to um, yeah, scare the Omaji a little bit more. Oh, whoa, they have a super unit and two catapults. Fun, fun, fun. <sighs> okay. Um... At some point we should research roads. That would actually probably not be a bad idea. Alright. Let's, um... Let's do something like this. Try to, uh... Try to, uh, invade the Bajor lands. That will probably be, um... A good idea. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Oh, that's, uh, unfortunate. Alright. How much health does this uh, giant have? Not much. That's good. <sighs> Let's, um... I'm gonna try to uh, get 
a new catapult, I think. Build a uh, port over here. And I guess now we can't build that. Um, we can't get a new catapult yet, but we will soon. All right. All right, so this time we will train up a new catapult over here just to help out our war efforts. Let's um, use this guy to explore up here. Oh, new village. Um, and other than that, we'll keep moving these guys back for their attacks. Good. Good, good. So this catapult uh, down here at Reslow right now, we're going to move him, I think, up back to here, I guess. Or maybe maybe we'll just uh, move this one up there and this one up to there. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Hopefully, uh, hopefully their catapult can't reach. It probably can. Ah, how much, so I believe, oh, we can actually increase its defense, it looks like, a little bit by upgrading it to a ship. Let's do it then. Um, still fairly low, just owing to the uh, type of unit it is, but we can increase its defense by a bit. Okay, next turn. Ah, uh, yes. Fun, fun, fun. Alright, let's see. So, they're... The farthest they can reach into our territory is... It looks like from here they can get into our city. From here they can... From from here they could potentially reach uh, someone over there. So we'll build a uh, port over here. This is, I think, as far as we can get from the uh, Umaji. So we can send out catapults without fear of actually having to deal with their counterattacks. Um, right. Um, how long have we been on for now? 17 minutes, okay. Um, just, I was just checking uh, because I'm curious. I don't actually have any... Uh, not like the... Uh, City Skylines videos where I actually have to like check the time to make sure that I don't uh, need to restart a recording. Um, I was just curious this time. Um, let's let's just see what they've got over here. Oh, they've got um, they've got a, a catapult in there. Nice. They, uh, everyone seems to be learning from us. Uh, which is unfortunate. Or fortunate, because it means that we had a good idea and we were just first. Yeah. Um, one of the two. Alright, what else? What else? We can maybe try getting another catapult from over here. Let's see. So our maximum range, we couldn't, I don't think make it all the way out to their city from here. So we'll just send this guy up to, uh, we'll just send our new guy up, um, to, uh, here. All right. Or up to here, I guess. I don't know. We'll do another catapult there, actually. That seems, uh, potentially useful. So we will uh, send this guy up here. It's kind of frustrating that water is just... It really only slows you down in those little narrow channels. And it doesn't do anything else. Um, that's unfortunate. Okay, good. So this, uh, this catapult isn't actually doing any damage to this guy yet. 
Um, so we may be able to get rid of him. Um, yeah, yeah, his health is already down by half. Alright, so how much health does he have now? Five as well. Alright, we can do that. And then we can upgrade this guy to a ship, and then a battleship. And send him down here and do that. And that definitely makes him, it gives him at least a fighting chance now. Uh, even if he can't really fully survive. Um, actually, we'll just move this one out of the way first to see uh, what we can do. Um, well, the full ranges. Alright, we'll do an archer over here, maybe. The uh, extra health might be useful. <sighs> okay. Just take a little moment here to stand up and clear my brain a little bit. I've been kind of hyper focused on screens most of the morning. Um, ah, thus is life, I guess. Um, I'm gonna move the um, the archer into the water. Um, we'll do another archer in the water as well. We'll turn both of these into uh, boats. Good. Um, let's do riding so that we can get roads. I don't really care for riders in this game. I don't think that they're going to be all that useful. Although uh, knights may be useful um, later on. I think that by the time that we can actually do um, like land fighting where uh, riders and knights will be useful will be too late game for um too late in the game for uh riders uh so by that point um knights will have made riders obsolete um yeah so something like that was sort of what i was expecting to happen with the uh with the boats um or with the, the guy that was in there before okay how much health does he have? Oh, we should have upgraded this guy to a battleship. Oh, that's so stupid. All right. So, can we reach... We can't reach their, uh... City from here, can we? Not quite. However... Maybe if I send a uh, ship down here and then try to stay out of their range... What is this guy's, um, the scout ability, I believe, gives the, uh, okay, so it's got, uh, it can see two squares, um, but it can be attacked by three squares away, so, let's see, do we have any, didn't we have two giants, oh yeah, here's one, uh, let's, let's make this guy into a battleship next turn. Alright, battleship. Um, I guess we can't make him a battleship yet, but we can make him stronger at least. And we can get rid of the um, catapults with this guy, that is true, so could be uh, useful still. Um, even if it doesn't have the health that we might want. We'll move these guys forward just a bit, and it doesn't look like we've got really any uh, population space anymore, so we'll uh, do that so we can train up another guy in here. What type should we do? Um, let's do a defender, and then we can turn this into a port, maybe? We can turn this into like sort of a hidden port uh, back here. Yeah, I, th I think that would be a good idea. So if we have uh, if we have a sort of a hidden port over here, then we can um, 
began to develop this city and uh, build up a naval fleet um, where uh, where the Bardur and Umaji can't see it. So we'll move that guy. I moved that guy back because this is uh, not safe for him anymore. Uh, this guy we can recover. How much health does he have? Twenty six. Okay. Mm. Nah. Uh. All right. All right. So we can turn this guy into a battleship now. That will be good. I'm gonna avoid the Shinshi territory because the uh, Shinshi are still not um not an enemy, I guess. They're friendly, as, as friendly as uh, uh, opposing Polytopia tribes can be, at least. So, um, I think we're really just gonna go, um, have this guy go solo over to here. Um, I think that he can manage that just fine. <laughs> Alright. So, we can maybe help them out a little bit with the, the process of getting rid of the knight in there. And, in fact, we may want another, um, another boat to help out. Um, I think we'll need that just uh, to make sure that we can get rid of um, whoever's in there in a single turn and then move... Uh, the giant into the city. How much health does our giant have? That should be got forty. All right, that that's fine. Um. All right. What else? What else? Uh, we'll recover this guy again. Give him a little bit more health. Um, the Bardur don't seem to really be bothering with actually trying to get onto our territory. I think they seem to uh, respect it at least. So we should be fine with that. Um, we should be able to recover this guy up to full health again. Um, remember, he was the one with 26 health from earlier in the uh, game. So, what else? What else? What else? really anything else that I have that I want to do this turn. Can we turn anyone here? No. Alright. Now. We'll do a battleship. Um, Alright, now. How much health is left? Okay. So we can't get rid of that one in one turn. <sighs> Let's um move this guy down here. We can upgrade him to a ship and the next turn will be a battleship. He should have, hopefully, the range. Um, no, no, they only have a range of two. Ah. We can move him, though. And then, then it will be in range. All right. Wonderful. Okay, so we can move these guys. Oh, so I guess that just means that I, I thought the range of two would have meant that there was, um, Hmm. Oh, so a range of two means that there can be one space in between. Okay. Oh yeah, that that's right. That's how I was calculating before. I don't know why that suddenly changed in my head. Okay, so we can, if we can move this guy up to just just to here, if we can move this guy up to here, then we should be able to take the city no problem. Alright, 
we'll move backwards a little bit um, to attack him. Eh, he's probably not a concern. If he does become one, he probably won't have enough health. Um, in fact, how much health does he have? I meant to check that for yeah. No. Even if he does have enough health, um, even, even if he does make it over here, he probably won't last. So, we'll do like that. And we'll do like that. And we'll move him here and like that. And then we can move him in. Alright, wonderful. <laughs> so, hopefully, I believe the Umaji only have one city, yes, and that's the one that we've invaded, which means that we will be the ones to end the Umaji, which gives us points. Yay! Um, yes, yes, okay, good. Now, now we can just start fighting the Shinshi because, um, yeah, why not? We can handle two tribes that don't like us. Uh, oh, oh, oh. No. Let's research farming, and then we can develop this, uh, this city all the way, um, up to another level. This this one is in desperate need of a defender. Alright, so we've entered kind of a new phase of the game now that the Umaji are gone and we are actively fighting two tribes. Um so I think that will then make this the end of today's stream. Um thank you all very much for watching. Uh we will be continuing this on Friday. If you enjoyed it, please turn that like button blue. The same way I tried to turn the next turn button blue at the beginning. Um, yeah, like, share with other people you think might be interested. Um, help the channel grow a little bit. Uh, subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying my content uh, overall uh, with the notification button on so that you know that uh, video when videos are coming out. And until next time, have a nice day. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>